This is Prince. Prince lives in Sierra Leone and is 29 years old. Prince has been unwell recently. He's had a bad cough and decided to self-medicate by using over-the-counter medicines. However, Prince's health has got worse and he has been coughing up blood. His family are concerned and Prince agrees it's time to go to the hospital. Tests are conducted at the hospital and Prince is diagnosed with tuberculosis. The doctor tells him that he will need to take medication. The treatment is six months long and it's very important that Prince takes the treatment every day for the six months. Prince must go to the local health clinic each day to receive the treatment and it is given by a health worker, Nina. Nina tells him that the success rates for the treatment are very high, about 95%, if he takes the tablets every day. Three months later, Prince is feeling much better. As he is feeling so well again, he decides to stop going to the clinic. It's inconvenient for him to go, and he was worried about being seen at the TB clinic by people who know him. Prince believes he is cured. Nina is waiting for Prince to arrive at the health clinic and realizes he is no longer coming to his appointments. It's dangerous for patients like Prince to stop their treatment as it can cause the tuberculosis bacteria to develop resistance to the drugs. When this happens, the treatment of the disease can become more difficult and more costly and potentially impossible to treat. For tuberculosis, this can be a problem as many patients do not tell their family or friends that they are unwell and they do not seek health care. This fear puts everyone at risk of drug resistance. It's one year later and Prince has once again got a bad cough. He's worried about going back to the health clinic as he doesn't want to get in trouble. He decides to visit a different health clinic and this time meets a health worker called Ruth. Prince lies and tells Ruth that this is the first time he's had tuberculosis. Ruth puts him on the standard first-line treatment, but Prince's <coughs> symptoms grow increasingly worse. <coughs> Prince's symptoms get so bad that he is back in hospital. More tests are taken and they show that he has a multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. Prince is transferred to a government hospital and put in an isolation unit where he stays for nine months. Here he receives treatment every day in the form of injections and tablets. The medicine is very difficult to tolerate and has bad side effects. Some people lose their hearing. Finally, after nine months, Prince is ready to be discharged. He's looking forward to spending time with his family again. He's also relieved that none of his family members caught tuberculosis from him. He realizes that it was a bad decision to not complete the treatment and to lie to the health workers at the second clinic. Prince has decided to spread awareness in his community so that others don't have to go through what he did. He tells the community about the importance of seeking health care so you can be tested and so you do not put your family and friends at risk. He explains the importance of making sure you follow the instructions for your treatment. Prince tells them, your health is your life. And in the end, this matters more than the fear of stigma or the inconveniences of the treatment. We must fight the disease together. <laughs>